Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Underwood Baptist Church Young Adult Sunday School Class Daily Devotional for Saturday, July the 16th. And this morning, we're going to talk about why the world and even why some religions um, in the religious world hate the Christian, right? Christians believe on uh, Christ and we seek to follow him. But um, in John 15, Jesus gives us some examples. Um, we are, um, because we are identified with Christ, and if they, if they hated him, they will also, you know, hate, uh, hate us and identify with him. Um, verse 18, uh, verse 15 says, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. And verse 20 reads, remember the world that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Um, and we don't belong to this world. Um, John 15, 19. If you were of the world, the world would love us. If we were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Right? So, uh, when we trusted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we moved into a new spiritual position. We are now in Christ and out of this world, although we still live in it, do we not? Yes, we're in this world physically, but we're not of this world spiritually. Amen. Praise the Lord for that. We should look at things of earth from heaven's point of view. Don't be conformed to this world, right? We're supposed to be... And I say supposed to be because we fail at this. Uh, we are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Uh, but the world looks at us as out of step and out of place. But we are to be different. We're supposed to be different. The world is supposed to look at us and go, they're peculiar. They're weird. They're strange. And if the world looks at you like that, praise the Lord. Let them. Um, so we need to remember that the world is spiritually spiritually ignorant, right? John fifteen twenty one. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me, right? Um, Satan has blinded their minds, and sin has blinded their hearts. And you can find references to that in Second Corinthians three four three through four and Ephesians four seventeen through nineteen. Um, and, and one last thing here, we all know that the world is not honest about its own sin. Um, John 15, uh, 22 through 24 reads, If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none that other man did, then they had not sinned. But now they have both seen and hated me and my father. Right? And Jesus did emphasize his words and his works. This is the emphasis throughout the Gospel of John. Uh, the people had no excuse for their sin. They had seen his works and heard his word, but they would not admit the truth. And they will not admit the truth today either. All the evidence had been presented. Can you imagine living in Jesus' day and seeing everything that he had said and see, heard everything he said in person and the things he had done and then still people not believing it, right? Uh, but they were, they were not honest enough to receive and act on it. Light reveals sin and most do not. Do you want to face your sin? No, nobody does. But in the end, we all will. And you can either do it uh, knowing the Lord Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior or not. Most people say, oh, I'm okay. I'm a good person. Remember, remember this, if nothing else out of this message, that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that's true. And I'm going to leave you with that thought. I hope uh, this message has been helpful to you this morning. I uh, wish you a very blessed and happy Saturday. And uh, I'll close this out a word of prayer. Father, we thank you so much, Lord. For this time that we have to come and just 
Study some of your precious word, Lord. We thank you for each person watching, Lord. We just ask that they would take this message and carry it to a lost and dying world. And Father, if those are, if there be any any out there who do not know you as their personal Lord and Savior, Father, we ask that uh, they accept you before it's too late, Lord. Because, uh, and it could be a minute, an hour, a second from now, or 20 years, Lord. We know not when the day is that you will come. Not even you know, only the Father. And Father, we ask that you just be with those who may be hurting, Lord. Uh, just want to lift them up to you, that you would meet them, meet their needs according to your riches by Christ Jesus, Lord. And we thank you for everything you do for us that we don't deserve. And uh, we ask your forgiveness for failing you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Again, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon.